Hey there, Credit Warriors, it's Credit Shifu here. From that intro, you might have guessed, if you're a fan of this person, you might have guessed who my guest is on the show. I mean, his name's probably in the title of the video anyway by now. But um, today we have Dave Hansen on the show. Welcome to the show, Dave. Hey there, Dave here. Thank you. <laughs> it's, uh, it's good to finally uh, see you face to face. You too, man. Yeah, and it's great to have you. Um, so Dave uh, launched onto the YouTube scene a couple of years ago with some videos. What did you have? The black card, unboxing the black card. That's when and I was uh, inadvertently became a credit card YouTuber. It was, it was actually did. the Apple card that, you know, got me started. My channel is kind of like it. everything else. Okay. Yeah. And, and then you were also the first person to get the X1 card, weren't you? I was, yes. Dropping that metal card. I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. The old uh, credit card uh, sound appreciation uh, <laughs> videos. They actually contacted me because they uh, they saw me dropping the Amex black card and they're like, oh. we have a metal card. Would you like to drop it? And I'm like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> they, they, they even put the sound on their website, didn't they? They were very... They um... did. I should have trademarked that or done something at the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Um, so the reason I wanted to have you on the show, because Dave, he, he brought out a very interesting video a few weeks ago uh, on your ultimate cashback credit card system to get 5% or around 5% on everything. And it was really useful. And I wanted to have you on the show and basically go through the system. And we can ask the question, is this the ultimate system? Or do you guys in the audience have something better? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Okay, do comment below. Um, so first of all, I know, let's talk about what you used to do, because you used to use a certain credit card, which isn't offering this deal anymore. Yeah, the uh, the old crypto.com uh, rose gold card, which you had to have a whole bunch of their coin staked in order to get the highest rewards. And it was actually great when it worked. And then when uh, the, the crow coin started falling in value, that was the sign that maybe I need to get out. And then they started changing the rewards program. And they changed yeah. the staking program and nothing about the program that I liked is around anymore. So that one for the rose gold, you had to, how much did you have to stake? It wasn't super. I remember the obsidian was like 400 grand, wasn't it? But the, the rose yes. was. Well, the rose gold was 40,000. So you, you, for the, for the, I think they gave 8% if you staked 400,000 and that just didn't make sense to me. Uh, but staking 40,000 to get 5% back. Also doesn't make any sense, but really they were paying so much on that staked crypto and they really did pay uh, until they reduced those rates. Uh, I, I made I made great money on my staked uh, USDC and CRO and, and all of that uh, until they so at the reduced end, all their rates. Um, even though crypto.com's coin dropped in value, did you still come out ahead even though, uh, did you lose money on your staked crypto or not? Um, no, because by the time I, saw it falling i was able to sell it so i i actually doubled my money in the cro token <laughs> sold it kind of near the top when they started changing their uh program around uh so i i unwittingly timed that quite well <laughs> those were the good old days huh um oh, yeah. so yeah because of the crypto winter uh dave had to rethink his whole uh five percent on everything cashback strategy and you put together a video showing um, a, a pretty good system of how you can get 5% cash back on almost everything. Um, so let's, let's talk about it. So you had, I've got it written on my screen here. So you have first a couple of cards that are not in your wallet. You've got the Amazon Prime Visa signature, and then you got the City Custom Cash. Do you want to introduce those first? Those cards are just kind of no brainers. It's 5%, a huge portion of my spend is Amazon. So you have to have that card, no annual fee, why not? And I use it all the time, but I usually... I, I literally only have it like st stored in my Amazon account and I don't use it for any other purposes. So that's just locked away. And then I had the uh, city double cash card, switch that over to the custom cash card, going from the 2% to the 5% in a category that I knew I wouldn't go over their cap. And for me, that was gas stations. I see. Yeah. So like the Amazon card, actually, I've got that situation too. I don't even know where that card is. It's somewhere, but I've just, I mean, uh, on the first day I got it, I just entered it in Amazon and that's it. <laughs> I keep it. I keep it in the wallet of random credit cards so that I can hold it up in YouTube videos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. I've got a few cards like that as well. Um, and then with the uh, City Custom Cash, 
Uh, so that's not in your wallet. I know in your video, you actually mentioned that you keep it in your car, which I thought was kind of funny. Yeah, <laughs> I, right? I keep it in the center console. I, I'm assuming that a valet is not going to steal it. And I, I okay. park in a secure area, so I'm, I'm not too worried center about console. it. Center console. Remember that, guys, if you see Dave's car. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I mean, you've got 0% fraud liability anyway, so I'm sure you're fine. Exactly. Um, but yeah, I thought that was kind of funny. So you got two cards that are not in your wallet. One that's entered as a payment method in Amazon gets you five percent and another in your car and yeah for me also um it's hard to go above five percent on gas uh, sorry five hundred dollars on gas in a month unless you're maybe an uber driver or something or you drive for work but just daily driving uh, i probably spend maybe 200 uh, to 300 a month on gas so it's it's a great category to utilize the sisti custom cash let's move a little further down the list now but before we move on guys we live in turbulent financial times with many of the once golden growth stocks like tesla for example being in the red over the past year, and the stock market is basically flatlining right now. This is largely because the Fed has raised interest rates 10 times in the past year to counter all the money they printed since 2020. But the Fed raising rates does have some advantages for smart investors who know where to look. And right now, if you look at the six month treasury, which is a type of government security, you can earn around 5% on your money, which beats the average savings account. And it's backed by the US government. So how do you buy treasuries? Well, you could go to the US government's website, which like the nuclear program, these missiles, their launch control centers and their command capsules all operate on this antiquated technology seems to be based on something from the 90s and run on floppy disks. Okay, I joke. They have actually updated the nuclear program now. It now runs on CDs. But treasuries, we're talking about treasuries. There is another way. The investing platform public.com recently launched their treasuries platform where you can invest in treasury bills and earn around 5% on your money through a modern interface that will also reinvest your money when your bills mature and give you the freedom to cash out at any time. So it gives you the flexibility of a bank account with the yield of a six month treasury from the convenience of a smartphone app. Public also has a social media element where you can see the stock, bond and crypto portfolios of all your favorite influencers, including me. You can see my investments on there too. So sign up today by going to public.com slash Ben Hedges and start earning 5% on your money. And we've got uh, in your wallet, we've got the, the Amex gold card, which is next. Uh, do you want to explain that one? That is my all the time, everyday use at restaurants card. And so that card is four times points. Uh, but I also have, you're, you're, you'll be talking about this in a minute, the platinum card, Schwab edition, which gets me 1.1 cents cash back per point. So those four times points are worth 4.4% cash back. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a shame that the Schwab card went down. It used to be 1.25, didn't it? But um... it was, and that was a that was a sad day. <laughs> all right. So, and and you redeem that all for cashback, don't you? You don't do airline miles or anything. I don't because I I I have been this like team cashback guy all along because points are just confusing and redeeming and swapping to transfer partners. I saw your video on uh, the uh, evaluating points guys points. And you had one graphic in there that was like all these like partners and 1.7, 1.5. That makes me want to just like stop using credit cards altogether. So the simplified method is cash back. You know, you're going to get the same value as everyone else and uh, they can't devalue your points. I mean, the Fed can devalue your US dollar points, but that <laughs> happens equally. Everyone gets the same devaluation at the same time. So. I've, I just find that that is better than hoping for that one unicorn uh, airline ticket in first class going to Singapore or something. Yeah, those are really hard to book. I've tried to find the availability. I mean, everyone says, oh, use Amex points to book Singapore. So we, I've never managed to find availability to book that. It's, you it know, doesn't exist. Like a unicorn. Yeah, I'm sure it's, it's, like, it's somewhere. I'm sure they have to, for legal reasons, have it exist yeah. at some point. But, you know, for me, just being able to get five uh, four point, which one are we on? Gold card, 4.4% <laughs> on my dining and then five and a half percent on travel. That to, to me is just easier and you don't have to worry about it. And you just cash it in at the end of the year and pay for stuff as you go. That's awesome. And you said in your video, you spent $29,000 a year on dining or you did that year. Um, so that off more than offsets the annual fee, I think through the, the cashback you earn. Yeah, it does. 
and and my my whole thing about annual fees i was also a big anti-annual fee guy for a while um but if i can have my all the perks for things that i would buy anyway pay for the annual fee i'm okay with paying the fee i'm net cash flow positive on my annual fees yeah um uh, one thing i want to ask about though you don't mention grocery and it seems like you spend a lot on dining but you don't spend much money on grocery no i eat out all the time <laughs> you dine out every day <laughs> yeah basically um yeah. yeah so yeah i will actually use the gold card for grocery the when, when i am in the grocery store but it is not a category for me the big categories and my system works for me it may not be for everyone but my categories are travel dining at restaurants and then kind of everything else i see okay yeah that, that makes sense so for, actually for me uh, dining and grocery were about equal. I spent about 8,000 really? a year on both. Yeah. Yeah. So, but you know, I've got like two kids and stuff and it's kind of, you know, more, it's different. You know, I, I can't be bothered to take them to a restaurant every night, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's just um, me and my girlfriend. So we, we, we get exactly. off like, you know, half price. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's great. That's great. Um, okay. So let's move on to travel. Uh, cause I know you've got two cards for this. You've got one main card and then you've got another card that you sometimes use. Yeah. And travel is kind of, I try to keep everything simple, have as few cards as possible, but travel does get a little complex sometimes. So my main card is the MX platinum card. That's five times points on airfare and five times points on hotels with a little asterisk. You have to book it through the MX travel portal, which I always shop. But then if the MX travel portal doesn't have the best price for the hotel room, I will book it elsewhere because low price beats cash back every time, right? You're going to, you're going to save, if you, if you can save a hundred bucks per night, it's better to book it the other way. Uh, and for that, I use uh, my bank of America cash card, which I used to use for dining. That gives me 5.25%, which is the 3% uh, in your selected category. Plus the preferred reward, 75% multiplier gets you to 5.25. I'm sure you're adding all the things and oh, we'll effects. do that. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> preferred rewards. It's pretty. It's a pretty good deal actually, because you have to have a hundred grand with Bank of America or Merrill to get a seventy-five percent bonus. And you know, if you're watching this and you're like twenty, okay, that might seem a little bit far away. But for seriously, for anyone who's over thirty and who's saving, it's really not out of the question that they could have a hundred grand in a stock account or something. You know, um, so it's actually not. It's not that difficult of a bar to reach um, if you're someone who's saving for retirement or, or whatever, um, and you get seventy five percent extra on your bonus on your points. So travel originally it's three percent on travel, right? And it takes it up yeah, to yeah. That card is three percent in your selected category, and I picked travel. But that seventy five percent bonus gets you up to five point two five percent, which is great. But they have a cap twenty five hundred dollars a quarter. And that cap, the reason I stopped using it for dining, because that is such a big category for me, uh, it just, I was hitting the cap every single time. And then my effective cash back was way lower. And it's just too much effort to have multiple cards. And I just decided the 4.4 with the gold card would be better for me. But then if the cash card, once I've, once I've hit that limit, which for hotels, it's a little bit easier to kind of keep track of because you're maybe booking one big hotel stay. And if it's over $2,500, then I roll over to my Bank of America premium rewards card, which is 2% in the travel category, but that also has a 75% multiplier, which gets you up to 3.5%. Uh, okay. uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, I think so. And that, But that's because the Amex Platinum, it's only prepaid hotels through Amex Travel. So sometimes the price isn't as good as booking direct and, and all that kind of stuff, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Oh, and I also use that, that premier card for uh, rental cars because 3.5% um. and built-in CDW coverage is better than Amex's one-time points uh, for rental cars. Uh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So yeah, that's a pretty good setup for travel. Um, next, and this is actually going to be your biggest category, isn't it? I think um, everything else, non-category. It is my net. biggest category. And we kind of touched on some of the everything else, which includes Amazon and the gas card. And this is where I think people just need to look at what they spend. If you buy a lot at Target or Walmart, those brand specific cards or a, a hotel brand that you're loyal to. That makes sense. For me though, um, I'm using drum roll the X one card for kind of that catch all everything else, non-category spend category. It's three times 3% back on uh, everything. And then if you invite people to use it, which as a credit card YouTuber, I've invited quite a few people to use it. So I have four times points for just about uh, forever. 
and they changed that program too. It's a little more like it's a it's a lottery to see if you're going to win four times or ten times. But instead of for thirty oh, okay. days at a time, it's like it can be a week or of like ten times like, points. Yeah, but, like uh, maybe it's like one person out of a thousand gets the ten x right or something. Exactly. Or forget the four x. So not not um, quite as like lucrative if you're a YouTuber and and can just like. <laughs> bank a month at a time back in the old days but now uh you know it's it's it, you it's kind of gamified and you have that chance of winning like 10 uh, percent back for a week awesome so yeah i have some details of this card here so it's it's a two percent card but like you said um if you spend over fifteen thousand a year you get three percent on everything uh but that is limited to seventy five hundred dollars per month that you get that extra one percentage point in um so just you know uh be aware of that and then um, if you refer people, you can get most commonly 4%, but if you're lucky, you might be able to get 5 or even 10%, but probably not. Let's talk about redeeming this because these are tracked as points, aren't they? And there are some little tricks for redeeming because some redemptions, you don't get a full cent in value. Exactly. This is the one place where I don't actually redeem for cash, but you basically, it's kind of like the pay yourself back kind of yeah. methodology where select merchants uh, are qualified at the full penny a point rate. And it's a huge list. For me, I uh, Apple is one. And so basically I get a free iPhone every year, which I would buy anyway. <laughs> and uh, some Airbnb, Airbnbs on there. So I might get an Airbnb stay for free. Uh, I charge all of my little purchases because you have to have enough points to cover the entire purchase. Uh, and so I use it to buy my Apple apps and all of that. And at 3% or 4% back, it's as good as the Apple card, right? So oh, okay. So I can use you use it for, for that like uh, Elon Musk's Twitter eight ninety nine a month thing? That's Apple, isn't it? Um, well, actually, you get a discount if you pay him directly. So I've uh, I've done that on my X one oh, card. So I'm getting four percent back. Me more. That's why it's charging me more, isn't it? Because I I'm paying through Apple Pay or through the well, Apple. Yeah, he has to he has to pay them, and so he's charging you more to pay that commission. But if you unsubscribe from the Apple version, wait for it to expire, and then you resubscribe directly. Uh, you can keep the check mark and pay less, but make sure you look at the list and put small purchases on the card. Apple is great because apps, every single app that purchase or movie download or that sort of thing, your, your, uh, you know, iCloud subscription, put all of that on there because then you'll be able to redeem it, uh, because you have oh. to have the entire amount to cover the, um, pay yourself back kind of system. I see. So you erase charges on the card. You pay yourself back for charges on the card. That's and right. That's but you also are earning. You get the you get the you get to earn and then pay yourself back. So you, you don't get uh, dinged on on the redemption. Oh, that's awesome. Hopefully we'll have you back. Um, and thank you, you guys at home for watching. Leave a comment. What do you think? I'll put Dave's original video uh, on the end card. You can look at it. You can go subscribe to his channel. I'll put the uh, the video Dave mentioned from my channel about the points guy as well, his valuations, if you want to check that out. Big thank you to today's sponsor, public.com. You can check out their new treasuries platform uh, at public.com forward slash Ben Hedges, okay? Earning five up to 5% or around 5% on your money investing in US treasuries. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.